A long time ago, I made a video with a perfect warrior with perfect stats and really awesome gear versus a bunch of people who were naked with no weapon, peg legs, and generally bad stats. And the way armor worked back then was really weird and a little bit broken. And armor's changed a lot since then. In the current version, it has a much more complicated, but I think better system that I will quickly explain for those of you who don't know. Let's just take the Devil Strand Duster an example. Armor's got an armor rating, weapons have an armor penetration, and what the game does is let's just say we get hit with a weapon that does 20 damage, we get hit in the torso, it does heat damage, and it has 62 armor penetration, an example. So it goes from the outside in for armor, so the Devil Strand Duster is the first thing, covers the torso, so we're all cool there. The weapon's armor penetration value is subtracted from the armor heat value. So if it does 62 penetration, that brings us down to 100 armor rating. This number is compared against a random number that the game rolls on the spot between 0 and 100. Let's say it rolls 80. So this 80, uh, if the random number 80 is under half the armor rating, so our armor rating left over is 100, so half of that 50. If the 80 is under the 50, then the damage is inflicted harmlessly. 80 is better than 50, so not that. If the random number is over half the armor rating, so if the 80 is greater than the 50, which it is, but not higher than the full armor rating left over of the 100, then the damage is reduced by half. So in our case, that's what happens. The 80 is greater than the 50, but not greater than 100. If the weapon did 100 armor penetration instead, that'd bring us down to 62. And that 80 is greater than half of 62, as well as 62 itself. So that's what the third case scenario is. The random number would be greater than the armor rating as a whole, and the armor has no effect at all whatsoever. So it's a little bit of a complicated system, but once you get used to it, it actually works out really nicely, and I like it a lot. It, it seems to be pretty cool, but you can do interesting things with it, and that's what brings this video on. Um... Armor and stuff in general, what it's made out of. Materials have certain multipliers on them, and Devil Strand's one of the best for heat. In fact, it's by far the best, actually. It's 300%, which, as far as armor multipliers go, that's actually, I think, the highest in the game for anything ever. It's not very good against blunt, so if a guy comes at you with a really awesome club, like a jade club or something, you're gonna be in a bit of trouble. But if they come at you with explosions and grenades and, and knives and stuff like that, you'll probably be okay. But if they come at you with fire, you're in super good shape. And I wanted to see if you could actually become fireproof. Interestingly, this does have flammability. Even though it's really good armor heat. I don't know. It still burns. It's just really resistance against getting hot. I don't know. It's a bit strange. But that's another topic. So I wanted to get my uh, fireproofness up as high as I possibly could. And that made me look at the different multipliers for armor heat. So I'll run through them really quickly. We have silver and gold at 0.36, steel at 72, or sorry, 0.72, it's percentage based. Plasteel at 1.08, wood and uranium at 0.9, jade at 0.54, cloth in general, all of it is 0.18. Um, there are different varieties of cloth, same deal with leather, but as far as armor goes, they're all the same. The insulation and such, like for cold and warmth. Oh, good night, Paisley. Whoa, Jesus. Let's pause this. Um, insulation and all that, like how good you are against cold and hot temperatures, is different. But as far as armor goes, all cloth and leather is the same. So cloth is 0.18. Synthread, 0.9. Devil Strand is 3, as we've seen. Hyperweave comes close at 2.88. And wool is 1.1. Leather is 1.5. And then you've got the more specific things like Flak Vest at 0.27, Flak Pants and Armor at 0.1, the Power Armor, or Marine Armor as it's called nowadays, 0.54, the Marine Armor Helmet at 0.9, and the Psychic Foil at 0.27. So I took all this information and compared against what you can and can't wear. And we have here, if I put on the Power Armor suit to the Marine Armor, we have to take off the Duster and the Flak Vest because this covers middle and outer. Brings us up to 145. Or I wear this thing. Takes a little while to put on. 163, which is pretty good. But we're a little bit better off with this stuff here. Bring us up to 173. 
and I had this guy make himself some Devil Strand stuff. His skill's only eight. He sort of represents just your store, sort of, I don't know, your average tailor that you might have in a colony. And if you make Devil Strand out of that, a value you could actually expect to have. Ooh, dropping these. Dropping both of these. There we go. 96%, <laughs> which isn't very good. If you get attacked with a heat weapon that has uh, no armor penetration at all, then, I mean, you're you're going to be taking some damage regardless, no matter what happens, especially if it's in their legs. Because if you get hit in the leg, then um, you're, you're only dealing with this armor. This is, well, the duster might, actually. Yeah, okay, so you still have the duster. Dusters protect kind of everything. But 72, you got to beat there, and the pants 48. I mean, even something without armor penetration will still come at you and will still hurt no matter what. So it's not super good. It is nice for some resistance against basic weapons, but you're rolling on a bit of RNG there constantly. Let's throw all this good stuff back on. Back up to 173. And let's do some experimenting. I've got a couple different scenarios set up with fire damage being done, and we'll see just how good this is. Keep in mind that you would need to have something that has over 73 armor penetration to actually do full damage just in general on average. I mean, it depends where you hit again um, for the face. It'd have to be higher than, you know, 62 penetration in the chest. Pff, you'd have to get a good roll for the chest and legs and all that because of the duster. Black vest for really nice sharp. Like I like the black vest. They're really good. We'll just see in general how it works and see how fireproof you can actually be with a sort of best case scenario gear. So we have here Paisley with his 173 heat. I will spawn some lightning and see how he fares against this. I'll kind of ignore the architect stuff. It doesn't really matter much. So far, nothing. He's pretty happy with it. There we go. A burn in the head. The helmet prevented that a little bit. But his gear is taking a bit of damage. The helmet down to 96, the shirt totally fine, flak vest took a little bit of damage. Devil Strand Duster took a good deal more though. And the pants are totally fine also. I mean, you can get pretty crazy with it. He's only got a few burns, he is still standing, even after all of those lightning strikes. This dude just will not go down. He just won't, he refuses. The Devil Strand Duster is taking some pretty significant damage, but there is still the shirt beneath that will, uh, will hop out as well as the vest, so he's still got a while to go. I mean, if your colonist is being hit by this much lightning, here's a problem. I mean, that is, that is a lot of lightning, and he's still fine. He is still fine. The Duster has completely blown off. The Flak Vest is now taking the damage, but in general, uh... He's, he's doing good. Head, jaw, the eyes, the ear. Yeah, the, the head is really... Armor's getting... Th uh, the heat's getting through the head armor. But that is that is impressive considering all of that damage. So now Paisley, still with 173. He has psychic shock in the brain just to keep him still. It doesn't really affect anything other than just his consciousness. He is just sort of passed out there on the ground and needing help. But when he's not moving around, it makes it a lot easier to do what I think you can probably suspect I'm about to do. And that is throwing Molotovs at him to see how he does against fire. Already a little bit in the leg. There's the ear, the head armor again, filing a little bit. But generally... Generally okay. Molotov cocktails have zero percent armor penetration, so generally he should be pretty okay for a really long while. Duster almost down to half health, everything else about 90. Fire size 148. Not really proving to be much of an issue, though. <laughs> 
double strand duster is almost broken finally. Almost. Two health left. Here it goes. Now a rock and just the vest end shirt and more damage will penetrate. As you can see, some of the damage had already gone through the duster before. And it's just going to get easier and easier to whittle them down. But this is a lot of Molotov cocktails. I think, uh, I think generally you're, you're fairly fireproof against that. I don't think there's much to worry about. And lastly, the orbital power targeter thing. It, um, a direct hit? Well, that'll still hurt. But, <laughs> but he's, he's hanging in there. He's okay. The duster, the duster's still up, 7.7%. That's fine, he only took a slight burn at the torso and leg. That's okay. Meanwhile, the granite wall itself has just been completely destroyed. Uh, <laughs> Paisley is, um, I think it's safe to say that if you happen to have legendary Devil Strand gear, uh, it, you're pretty much fireproof. I mean, you're not technically fireproof, but you're pretty fireproof. Yeah, pretty okay. No problem. Shirt took almost no damage. Vest is fine. Helmet's fine. Devil Strand Duster took a pretty good brunt of that, down to 44%. Um, only a slightly burnt rib cage, of all things. Interestingly, yeah, that's that's not that bad considering that's like the most powerful weapon in the game. Um, we don't buy somebody named Burns. Interestingly enough, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a good coincidence. Um, that's. I, I would say, I mean, it's legendary gear, so it's a bit unfair. We'll try something more standard next, but um, generally that that's pretty fireproof, I'd say. Well done, Paisley. Well done. Now, this is still Paisley, made with gear that's a little more standard. He himself made it, though he is godlike crafting, so a lot of it's all good and masterwork and stuff. But this is just as I mean that you actually have a really proper tailor. And you're actually honestly trying to be fireproof without having some crazy inspiration legendary rolling and stuff like that. So we have here Plasteel, Advanced Helmet that's excellent, a good Devil Strand button-down shirt, good vest, good duster, and masterwork pants. And generally, the head. You can see the armor for heat being generally only iffy, especially that Flak Vest. That is not very good, but Flak Vest in general aren't so great anyway giving him a roundabout average of 132%. And we will try with the lightning again to see how this goes. Just two strikes, still okay. Generally, still fine. Generally still fine. Lightning, not much of a threat. at all. Torso is getting a little roughed up though, down to 17. Yeah, Torso needs a little bit of love. That's okay. Oh, hi, hi Madam Black. <laughs> Great, <laughs> Man in Black with Psych Editing. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Here he is again with the same gear, still the stuff that you could expect to have with a really good tailor in the colony. And we'll try the orbital beam again. I don't think this will go quite as well, though. Let's find out. Uh... Actually, that's surprisingly good. Surprisingly okay. Huh. I expected that to be a lot worse for you. Trying again, this time aiming a little bit lower rather than directly on him, because it might just be how the beam displays, but it always looks like it doesn't quite hit them. I think that might just be just how it is. 
Ugh, left kidney. Immediately burnt out. Jaw, not doing so well, and he's down. So, depends on RNG a lot. <laughs> um, I think the liver being destroyed is what did that ultimately. Incinerating the liver and blasting his left shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, not quite as guaranteed. It can very quickly go very wrong for you depending on where the damage is distributed. And that's just Rimworld in a nutshell. So much RNG is involved, you can get really lucky or super unlucky. And seeing with the regular gear, again, the Molotov test. Different people this time, but their skills are all 20 and it's still Molotov, so should be about the same. Generally, seems pretty solid still. Because Molotov cocktails don't have the armor penetration at all, you have to either hit them in a really lucky spot, like the head will still allow a little bit of damage through, but for the most part, you're either doing half damage or no damage for a lot of it. And because of that, you're in pretty good shape. When the duster goes, it might be a bit different, but overall, Pretty resilient, and Molotov's dealing 10 damage. These are basically Infernal Cannons, really. Aw, oh, he finally went down. What burnt? The torso finally gave in. Yep. Devil's Strand Duster held through the entire time, but uh, just wasn't quite enough. A little bit of heat damage always did penetrate through and just accumulated enough on the torso. But that still took, oh, oh boy, look out. That still took a lot of Molotov cocktails though. I think that's still basically pretty fireproof against Molotovs and I'm, I'm pretty sure Inferno Cannons too. Yeah, Inferno Cannons are also 10 damage, zero penetration. Uh, there's an excellent one, still 10 damage, a good one, still 10 damage. Inferno Cannons though, Legendary ones at least do 15 damage, so a bit more damage. Um, we can try... can try these just for funsies, though it seems to be basically the same result because they don't have any armor penetration, it's just the damage that bleeds through is a little different. But still, may as well, uh, may as well check. Oh boy. This isn't gonna go very well for people pretty soon. Look up, pumpkin. <laughs> Same concept, though. It's just without armor penetration, there's there's not a whole lot. So, long story short, yeah, I think you can be you can be fireproof, or at least effectively fireproof. Uh, fair. Oh boy. Certainly more fireproof than these guys. <laughs> so Devil Strand, is it worth it? Absolutely. I mean, that's that's sort of the takeaway from this. I mean, you don't even have to be super amazing to still get pretty decent results. I mean, these are all just only good. You can get good at a much lower crafting level. That is super nice. You still lose control when you're on fire, unfortunately but you at least don't die. <laughs>